So we've been briefed to wrap the new Hertz British Collection Mini for their launch campaign. We're starting in the evening. We've just had a delivery of three Mini Coopers from the guys over at Hertz Car Rentals. These cars are going to have a full digital print design on each and every one of them. We're going for the best of British here, so it's going to be one red, one white and one blue. This one's going to be a tough one to get right. So, welcome upstairs guys. We're actually in the YouTube department. Yanni got a phone call from uh, a member of staff that was here, um, who has now decided to uh, leave his position. As a graphic designer here at Yanomize, his responsibility was to get the artwork print ready. Essentially, it leaves me in, in a world of trouble, uh, pure and simply. We've got three cars downstairs ready to be stripped. I've got one car signed off in terms of its artwork. The other two cars are still not signed off. I am struggling. So if I send you the artwork, would you be able to get it mocked up? Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, I understand it is tight. Okay, mate. All right, cheers. Thank you anyway. After a, a little bit of flapping around, um, I've managed to get something sorted. So I've managed to pull in a bit of a favor from someone I know in the industry. Um, between him and Nomi downstairs, I think we're gonna be actually all right. It's still gonna be really tight, obviously trying to meet the deadline because there are three cars to get done, but the white car design has actually arrived. So all the vinyl's here for that one. So Jade's gonna jump onto that one and get started. Should know better, heartbroken and weary. So it's Monday morning, we've got three minis in from Hertz. All three of them are going to be full digital prints. A lot of lineup per panel. If you look here, um, as per obviously the client's request, the design is obviously so intricate and detailed that every panel can only go one way. Everything has to be perfect. For example, if you look at this rear panel, I have to line this up so it meets every design. Now I've got it all roughly lined up. I tape it into position. I'm then gonna do the same with the whole of the car and then it'll be ready to lay. Cool, Bert. Hi Bert, um, can you come down when you've got a sec? Uh, just in the middle of something right now. Why, what's up? 
Um, I'm not 100% happy with the time we've got to be able to get these cars done. I just don't want to lower my quality of work to be able to get the other two done within the deadline. No, definitely not. I can't let the quality drop at all. Um, don't worry, I think I've got a plan. Good old Mills has stepped in. So as you've seen, Jade started on the minis. Um, because they're digital print, requires a lot more concentration um, and lining up each panel, so I've come to give her a hand. Obviously we've got three to do, so we've got three lots back to back. So hopefully with an extra set of hands, we'll get it done in time. Hi, I'm Irene from Hertz. I'm Rob from Hertz's in-house agency and we're coming to pick up the Minis today. So the Minis are a really fun car and we thought that we would take this campaign and um, continue that. The whole kind of concept was around trying to create these unique designs that carried on with the whole fun Mini theme. We wanted to feature the three colours in the Union Jack flag. So we have a red car, a white car and a blue car. We've integrated all these cultural and historical references into the cars in a mix. So there isn't a clear Scottish car, Welsh car, English car. They feature all different aspects from the three countries in this collage graffiti style. This bonnet, um, the vinyl is slightly different to the other vinyl we've used. In terms of laying, obviously they've been just as easy to lay. In terms of design, I do prefer this one because I think it's a bit more creative, there's a bit more going on. I prefer the bright colours, but we've still got a blue bonnet to lay, so I might end up preferring that design. The way this got printed and designed, um, it was actually done in one piece. So this one wasn't as difficult to lay because it was quicker because you didn't have individual panel lineups like the first mini we did. We've still got one more mini to finish. Um, the vinyl hasn't turned up for that yet, so I don't know if it's going to be panel by panel or if it's going to be like one piece like these ones was. However, I've still got the other side boot bumpers to complete on this one, so let's crack on with this. So when this job came in, we were thinking, who's going to do it? How are we going to make it happen? And to be honest, one girl stepped up. Jade pulled this off pretty much on her own. She had a little bit of help, but these three cars have been you. They have been me, yeah. How have you found it? Um, actually, not that bad. And it's obviously brought back my creativity again to just kind of go for it. So these literally have been my babies to just get every car done, get them perfect, get them all lined up. And yeah, I'm actually really happy with the outcome. Are you going to be sad when they leave? I actually will, because it'll be, and then it'll be weird to go back to a normal like colour again, just normal basic ones. So yeah, because we're used to wrapping single colours here, but this is obviously a digital print, and you've got three cars that are all digital print with different mm. styles, different colours, different designs, but yeah. they are cool. Yeah, no, they are really cool, and they're going to stand out. We're just checking over all the three minis now, just bulletproofing it. Bert's checking over every single bit of the design. Um, so far, I'm happy with them. I've done my checks. Bert's in his final checks. If he picks up anything, he'll let me know so we can get him perfect. Other than that, yeah, I've enjoyed doing it.
What's really cool about the cars is the, the closer you get to them and the, the more you look, the more you find. We've been told the cars are ready, so really excited to go down and have a look. So the three minis are complete. I've got the creative director and the two designers. The three cars are behind that shutter. Let's reveal the Hertz cars. Here we go. You ready? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> They're brilliant. So cool. I'm blown away. That's so cool. So, amazing. so we're just seeing them as real objects, not just a, on, a on a screen in Photoshop or whatever. Do they amazing. look like, how do they stand out compared to seeing it on the screen now? Yeah. More powerful. Yeah. 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 So Definitely. much more vibrant yeah. than how yeah. imagined it, really. And the way it just wraps around all the little edges, all those, it's all those little details, it just sort of it just really brings it out. Yeah, it just yeah. looks better than looking at it on screen, to be quite honest. <laughs> really? First impression, favourite colour? Um, red. Favourite colour? Yeah, white. White, that's your design, is it? <laughs> yeah. Red. Red. Really? So I like the blue. I do like I, it, yeah, I love but I, I spent more time, more investment in the red one than when I was doing the blue one. So we had a, we had a lot of problems when we done this. When you guys designed this, how much effort, time, was you driving yourself mad to try and get this right? Yeah, blood, sweat and tears. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. definitely. And now you're seeing it here in real life. Yeah. We were like getting cardboard versions of minis and, and putting it out on our tables going, how are we yeah. going to do the panels? And we just yeah. had to keep talking to Bert, yeah. keep talking to these guys, trying to work out how this is all going to click together. And I still think even like down to the time you were wrapping it, it's still kind of like back and forth, back and yeah. forth. Yeah, we cut Such it into, a learning. into 14 different sections, didn't you? and we put Pretty them on a, on a black piece of cardboard and we laid them all out just to see if everything could be perfect. And then we got a toy mini involved as well, being like, well, how does that actually work out? I messed up a lot, but I, I've learned a lot. So in the future, when we, you know, hopefully we get another project like this again, we'll be able to bang it out. Well, yeah. we've enjoyed working on these cars. Jade's done a fantastic job, yeah. but had a load of stress and we lost a member of staff as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. We won't go into any more detail <laughs> yeah. on that. What I'm going to allow you guys to do is have a look at the cars and um, maybe tell us a little bit more about it. My name's Oscar. I'm one of the lead designers for the British Collection. It didn't come without its challenges by any means, but it was great. This is personally my favourite. So this is my baby, my brainchild. We've got a primrose here which is the Queen's favourite flower. The Welsh flag dragon emblem, British bulldog. Another one of my favourite parts is the bonnet. So there's a few Easter eggs just in this image itself. So we've got the jets for the arrows, the three minis. So I took essences from the Italian job. I took the Queen from the five pound note overlooking the city. We've got the British flag. So we've got the shard here, Big Ben. Got London Bridge. <laughs> my name's Jessica, I'm one of the lead designers and I designed the white mini. This is my favourite side of the car. I started with a nod to Davy Bowie. I love the horses. This is a nod to the Clockwork Orange film. Also the British designer Mary Quant with the, the yellow flower. You then find again on the front of the bonnet. So on the boot of the car we have Big Ben. It's very distinctive because when you think of London, the first thing you think of is Big Ben. So anyone driving behind Behind has the element of time. Sometimes when you're sitting in a traffic jam, <laughs> that's one of the first things that you think of. Doctor Who, the TARDIS, flying in through a time warp Blackpool Tower on the bonnet and the tartan effect that then wraps the whole mini. It's great seeing the final piece and it actually does work. My fear was that it wouldn't work <laughs> or things wouldn't match up or things would be out of sync, but um, Fantastic. So here we have the blue mini. There are lots of sort of coastal references. We've got the Lotus from James Bond when they go under the water. Over here we have sort of Celtic patterns. A surfer kind of going around the tartan here. Scottish flag, really important. Down here we've got the Loch Ness. I took this out of the Yellow Submarine, the song by the Beatles. But I couldn't have the actual one because there's you know rules about that kind of stuff. Turn open box, can't really amazingly. It's so detailed as well. 
Liverpool skyline. You can't really tell, but it's there. So it's in, slotted, done. The British Collection mini campaign is now complete. I've got Bert with me and Jade. Bert went through hell to make this happen. Yeah. How do you feel now that they're done? Um, relieved. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nice to see the back of them in a nice way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll happily do it again, uh, working with the guys at Hertz and the creative side of things, it was all fun. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was a challenge. And Jade, you yeah. pretty much wrapped all three cars yeah. on your own. You had a little bit of help, but yeah. really done it on your own. Did you enjoy it? Were you stressed? Are you happy now it's finished? Um, yeah, a lot of emotions, obviously. At the beginning, I was happy. Obviously, it was my babies. They were like little projects for me. Um, but then obviously it got stressful with deadlines, trying to match print up. Um, but yeah, with, with the deadline, we actually managed to get it done and pull it off. So it got pulled off. You were amazing. You are amazing. I'm the owner, so obviously I'm always amazing. <laughs> um, thank you to Hertz for trusting us. The minis are complete. They're now going to be driving around London. And we'll finish it on. It's a mini adventure. Take care, guys. I'll see, see you, you later. soon.